Police need your help tonight finding the man who kidnapped a woman off the street in Brooklyn. As CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal reports, residents in Gravesend say they're keeping a watchful eye on their surroundings. On this mostly what's known as a quiet corner, police are investigating a frightening incident. They say a woman was kidnapped Friday at the intersection of Avenue W and Stillwell Avenue. Wow, and um, I mean, I hope they figure this out. I... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like, I'm kind of startled at this point. Detectives say it was 1.45 in the morning when a concerned passerby observed a man carrying a woman into his minivan. NYPD cameras on the corner picked up these images. The witness told police the man gestured at the woman and picked her up. The victim didn't scream, but could be seen resisting and kicking her legs. I have a children, and that makes me a little bit nervous. To hear that kind of news. Everybody is just unsafe now. Like the world is just crazy nowadays. A day later, there are so many questions. Who was this man and who is this woman? Police want to find out and are giving this description of the victim. She's in her 20s, has a light complexion and long hair, approximately five feet, five inches in height, and weighs around 120 pounds. On Friday morning, she was last seen wearing a striped shirt, blue skirt, and white sneakers. Police say the vehicle is described as a late model Toyota minivan. The registration, unknown. It just shows you that anything can happen at any time. That's one of my biggest fears, but because I'm alone, I just moved out here by myself. So that's one of my, I, I'm home usually before the sun is down. As detectives try to find out all they can, those living at the Marlboro houses next door are on guard. Right now, police are trying to figure out the connection between this man and woman, or if there is one. But more importantly, they're hoping someone knows her and she's found safe and soon. In the Gravesend section of Brooklyn, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.